Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome to part 76 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on ultra hard difficulty and today what we're going to do is the side quest, let me read it out to you, The Hunters 3. A group of young Banuk hunters have uh, banded together seeking to pay their way out of their homelands and find opportunities in the west. So find the young Warwick Hunters, and I'll be 10,000 XP, an extraordinary reward box, and three blue gleam. And funnily enough, that's what I was actually going to mention. I do want to do some blue gleam farming, and this looks like one, two, and three. So anyway, essentially, we need to go up this way. There's also an animal figurine. We need to get that. And there's even a blue gleam there. If we get time... Anyway, regardless, we're going to go this way, but we're going to make a quick stop over here and uh, grab some uh, blue gleam. Looks like there's a merchant there. Anyway, all right, guys. So this is actually going to be unexplored territory for me because I've not been here before. Um, the, the eastern side of the map. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. I have a bit of a cold. <laughs> it's just been very, very cold here in the UK. What are they? owls guys you know what i have this suspicion i need to actually kill some more uh, different animals i only killed goats and badgers so i could get the maps but i have a feeling i may need to... wait where am i going sorry i'm lost <laughs> one sec guys okay we're going the right way it's fine we're good okay so we need to turn Right, we're near the blue gleam. Wait, what? Hold on, what is it? Who are you? Oh, bloody what? Wait, wait, what is that though? One sec, guys, sorry. Oh, it's an owl. I thought that was a blue gleam. Right, let's keep going. And it's up here by the looks of it. It is! <laughs> yes, okay. Let's keep going. Right. Hope there's no machines though. Now they're hunting me. Who are? Ayla, what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone's doing good, man. Um Yeah, I'm, I'm just ugh, don't feel good at all. Wait, did I did I actually collect? Okay. This blue gleam will make some shaman happy. Alright, guys, I've got 19. Um I haven't bought anything yet. The only thing I want now are all three of the outfits. What's that? Wait, is that... Uh, guys, let me... I've never been here. I don't know why this uh, blue thing's coming up. A uh, blue merchant. But there may be some uh, data points here or something. Let me just have a look. How do I get there? <laughs> all right, this way. Okay, merchant. I don't need him. I've already seen a merchant. But what is this? Oh, I'll take that. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. How generous of you. Okay, so. Let's keep going this way. Oh, what now? What? Right, guys. I'm getting distracted. Let's, <laughs> let's just go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where's my mouth? Where did I leave you? Yeah, guys, I've just been in bed for most of the day, and I actually wanted to play a bit earlier. Um, I just couldn't do it, guys. I had no energy, <laughs> so I've just been napping a lot. All right. Have I been up here? Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Don't worry, I'm not going to go anywhere. I just want to look and see if there's any anywhere we can go and collect stuff. But it doesn't look like it. But it does branch off up there. So I may explore that. I might do that myself, guys. I'll do that off recording. Anyway, let's keep going this way. Control tower where? Oh, crap. Oh, here. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, look what happens to my shield weaver, guys. What the fuck? 
Oh my god, guys, I've never seen that before. Sorry, just quickly, what I wanted to say was, look what happens to my shield weaver. It's not effective against these control towers, but I had no idea it's going to... Are you okay? Oh man, that sucks. Okay, Dory, I'll rescue you, dude. Well, not rescue him. <laughs> I need to destroy this stupid piece of shit control tower. And I can see shell walkers. And one of them seems to be aggroed. So what we're going to do is real quick. We're going to switch into Nora Silent. So I'm just keeping my eye out, guys. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Move. Aloy, move. No. <laughs> no, please, please. Hide behind the rock. He's gone, guys. He's gone. Okay. All right. All right. How do I want to do this? All right. We got one shell walker, two shell walkers. Uh, okay. Just two. Nope. Nope. There's a third one there. Okay. So three shell walkers, I think. Oh man, that sucks. I hate seeing, I hate seeing that happen to my man. Hey, don't turn around, you piece of shit. Sorry, guys. Make that four shell walkers. There's four of them. How would I get close? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay. All right. Don't worry, Charge. I'm coming. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to look after you. Give me a sec. Oh, I don't need a rope caster. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry. Let me just get organized. Okay. I want... Actually, yeah. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. No, no. Shadow Sling. Crap. Not that. I want to do this one. And I think Blast Wise for the Shell Walkers. Because they're going to put up that stupid shield. Um, guys, do you reckon I'm going to make it if I just go now? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Quick, 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 quick. Please, 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 please. <laughs> please, please, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> One of them see me. Oh, crap. Okay, run, run, run. They're all, they're, all right. They're all electrocuted. Okay, here's what we do, though. I need shock. Where is it? Sorry, guys. Give me a moment. Spark worker, this is what I want. Because these guys would do a shit ton of shock to me. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm trying to get his hands. Okay, good. I can only take care of one. There's not enough time. Okay, good. Shoot him in the eye. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. Okay, so this one I need to blast wise for. Whoa! Okay. Uh, guys, just want to test... Wait. Alright, I need to be careful, though. Okay, good. I'm not taking that much damage, which is good. I don't want to take too much of a risk. You know what? Let's just get rid of him. I think he's close. Normally, that kills him. <laughs> Alright, now it did. Okay. Let's do proximity. Why not? Good. Okay, hardly took any damage, which is great. Alright, need to be careful of melee, though. Alright, let's try and blow off their force field thing. Oh, wait, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was aiming for the one behind him. I didn't even notice this one here. Will he stop moving, you <laughs> stupid bastards? <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's go this way. They're not dead yet. Damn. Alright, here we go, guys. Back to blast wires. What 
the hell just happened then? Oh crap. Alright, good. He's dead. What about you? Oh my god. Quickly, quickly, the other one's coming. Oh, he blocked. Ah. Oh. One sec. Let me get that electric thing underneath him, the shock thing. Gotcha. <laughs> He's still alive? How? Oh my god, dude, really? Okay, I think that's it. Wait, hold on, guys. Am I wearing the Osra? Yeah, I am. I am. Sorry. I thought for one minute I wasn't actually wearing it. Okay, there's going to be an animal figurine. Let me just loot up real quick. In fact, I'll come back, guys. Give me a sec. Hey, guys, we are back. Where's my mount? There you are. <laughs> okay, just finish looting the shell walkers. Check it out. There is a data point here. Um... I think it's going to be with the animal figurine. It is. Fantastic. All right, there we go. Right, this is called Will Tourists Return? Right, Will Tourists Return to the Park? Date, March 1st, 2045. Contact, Marnie uh, Jeffords? Is that how you say it? Mammoth Hot Springs, W... Oh, I know, uh, Wyoming. Am I correct, guys? <laughs> Sorry, I hope it is. If it isn't, just let me know. Uh, Wyoming Roosevelt arch soars over the road to the north entrance of Yellowstone National Park. In the park's heyday, more than 100,000 visitors each month pass below this arch on their way to visit such celebrated landmarks as the, the Geyser Old Faithful, the mighty Yellowstone River and the vibrant Grand Prismatic Pools. Uh, yeah, I've heard of the Old Faithful thing. I know nothing about it, but... Um, Anyway, since President Ulysses S. Grant signed an act of dedication to create Yellowstone National Park in 1872, it has survived forest fires, world wars, and earthquakes to be enjoyed by nature lovers for more than 150 years, until environmental concerns drove the entire world into chaos. That's sad. In 2031, the federal government's uh, government withdrew funding from the park and transferred ownership to the state of Wyoming, after which the rate of visitation slowed to a trickle, Old Faithful's dependable eruptions went unobserved, and Mammoth Hot Springs Hotel, where guests once devoured bison meatballs, sat empty for years, blankly staring across an expanse of wilderness. Guys, do you remember I was saying something like this? Um... Where did I say this? Um, let me think. Uh, the waterlog quest. You know, from all these data points so far that I've been collecting, they're speaking of just clearing out anybody and every everyone who lives in this area, um, including businesses as well, which is quite sad. Anyway, the 30s saw several attempts to privatise the park. Many companies, including the powerful uh, Farrah Automated Solutions, made bids to purchase, purchase its land. After Farrah's proposal was abruptly withdrawn in 2040, weakened federal protections on public parks was, were restored, coinciding with the easing of climate change through technological means. As the world claws back, so too will Yellowstone. As of next week, the park will be restored to the United States government, with Faro Automated Solutions returning to finance the handoff, as well as providing funding for as yet unspecified new facilities. Tourism is already up in advance of these proceedings, and soon Mammoth Hot Springs Hotel and the park's walkways will bustle with life again. We look forward to your data corrupted. All right, guys. Okay, now what is this? It's a figure of... Okay, so we've got... I've got three more pigments and we've got one more animal figurine, which is great. It's a wolf, guys. <laughs> uh, that's what, obviously, the Scorch is based on. Right, Animal Figurine 6 depicts a proud predatory animal inscribed 6 of 7 in a commemorative set. 2042 Montana Recreations trader holler hall which we haven't discovered yet but um but anyway all right guys been an ancient animal is there anything else there has to be something so these are the famous arches 
of Wyoming. Wait, is it? Is that another thing? Oh no, that's just a broken wall. I thought there was another house or something. Okay, cool. No worries. And check it out. My mount is totally fine. <laughs> Felt sorry for him. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh no, it's another control tower, guys. Okay, do I want to... Guys, I'm going to move my mount away because he's going to get hurt. All right, buddy, you stay here, dude. Oh, it looks like we're close, Nothing guys. Tells me those are Berggren's missing hunters. All right, check it out. There's a... That go actually scared me. Okay, there's a save point. These guys are friendly, right? Yeah, I don't think I've got anything to worry about. Anyway, let me switch to... Obviously not Shields Weaver. Let's put this on. I don't suppose you three know an Osram and Songs in which called Berggren, do you? <laughs> Boys, that con artist sent an errand girl to collect what's owed to him. I'm nobody's errand girl. Bergen asked me to help harvest parts. Or would you rather keep trying to sell him broken junk? Broken junk? This pack will be on the move soon. No time to argue. If she's offering to help, we should accept it. Fine. We're about to take down these machines. If you're so eager to help, then lead the way. How dare you speak to me in such a manner? I am a chieftain. All right, let's yeah, let's be serious now. <laughs> this looks quite dangerous, actually. Okay. Oh crap! It's a scorcher. I've only fought two of them. Okay, long leg. There's a, another one here. Crap! There's one here. And there's actually two control towers. Oh no, guys! There's another one there. Or maybe he's got nothing to do with this place. No, he has. All right, our long legs are moving. All right, guys, before he comes here, I hope this works. Please work. <laughs> Please work. All right, are you going to get electro? I don't. Th oh, they did, they did, guys. Oh, shit, the scorch is there, guys. Oh, get out of the water. Aloy, get out of the water. Oh, my God, we're not going to make it, guys. We're not going to make it. Can you move, Aloy? Oh, my overrides. <laughs> my overrides not even ready yet. Can you... Pre I'm pressing triangle. I'm pressing triangle. Something's next to me on my right-hand side. I don't know what it is. This tower could be useful. Okay, fine. Damn! It's there. Guys, sorry, I'm... Shit. Shit! <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. I'm really panicking. Okay. Right, let's ice him up. And I better put my Karja blazing thing. Okay, okay, check it out. Eleven hundred guys, eleven hundred damage. Damn, he's still alive. He is still alive. Oh crap! Okay, okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay, Karja blazing and have my double potions ready. Crap. Oh shit, I forgot about the long legs. Oh no, what the hell is... Guys, what the hell is that? I'm in the water. Get out of the water, Aloy, please. Sorry, I'm running back to these guys. <laughs> I'm hoping they can actually help me. What the hell? Guys, what is that? Oh my god. Okay, guys, 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 I'm panicking like crazy. Okay. His wing. Damn it. Guys, sorry I'm not talking. <laughs> oh crap. No, not there. Oh my god. Uh, guys, I moved my stick the other way. Alright, uh, whatever. 
Oh my god, seriously, dude. Oh, right, his chest. Oh my god, you must be joking. All right, good. Is he dead? Good. Okay, we need to get rid of our Scorcher. I don't know what weapon he's got, but it's... It, wait, guys, let me try it. Let me try it. Damn it, man. I want to try that weapon out. What the hell just happened? Wait. He's still alive. Are you kidding me? How, how did that mess? Okay, Scorch is in bad shape, but I'm not gonna not gonna underestimate him, guys. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. I know what to do. Shit. Okay, damn. Still took damage, but it's okay, doesn't matter. Right, what is this weapon, guys? What is this? Where is it? Oh, you're kidding, guys. Where's the weapon? Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. <laughs> I'm just going to beat him down. <laughs> what the hell happened there? Who's better than us, huh? Nobody. That's who. Oh, guys. What happened to his weapon then? That was the whole point of me doing this. Anyway, whatever it was, it was very scary. <laughs> it did a ton of damage, but it's it's cool. It's done. All right, what now? Gather a scorcher claw. I think there's frost between my teeth. All right, what else is there? Okay, well these are all destroyed, so that's fine. All right, Outlander. You want to talk about our deal with Bergrind? Let's talk. Guys, I know it sounds weird. Do I get any new dialogue because I'm a chieftain now? That's done. You three are pretty handy in a fight. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Not that we needed your help. We are doing just fine without you. That's not the way Bergrin tells it. He says you tried to settle up with him using a shattered Thunderjaw heart. What? That's an exaggeration. It was only broken in two. Urkai, we don't have time for this. Come on, boys, back to the hunt. We still need two more of Bergrin's components. What's the rush? We want out of these lands as soon as possible. That's all you need to know. Oh, no. Why are you leaving the cut? Well, we could go back to Banor. Let Anakut slit our throats. By the blue light, Orkai. Why don't you just write our story in the snow for any passing hunter to read? <sighs> we had a dispute with the chieftain of our old Werak. We thought someone else should have been in charge. He disagreed. It seemed like a good time to move on. So we are traveling to the Sundom. So they're going to Meridian, or they want to? From here to the Sundom, it's a long trip. Seems worth it. Sometimes survival is about knowing when to leave and where to go. Yeah, and in this case, survival means us getting as far away as we can from Bonor. We've seen enough red snow. What's the plan once you get there? What will survival be about then? Look, all that matters is that we get there. And to do that, we need shards. So if you'll excuse us. I'll help him out. Broken Thunderjaw heart? So this Thunderjaw heart you brought Bergren. Let me ask you this, all right? Why would it matter that the heart was broken into two pieces? Can't you just stick it back together? Of course you can't just stick it back together. I just... <laughs> oh, I bet that scam artist Osirim could. He just wants to send us on another stupid errand. Oh, he's not so bad. I like Bergrind. Like him? Tulamot, he sent us out in the snow to nearly die under the feet of a Thunderjaw. And boys, shut up! Ugh! <laughs> Every time someone brings up that stupid heart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's your Scorcher Claw. I've got the Scorcher Claw Bergrind was asking for. That only leaves the stalker sinew and the snap mawfang. You should hold on to it. You're coming along to the next hunt after all, aren't you? I suppose somebody's got to keep you three out of trouble. Fine. I guess you'll have to tag along then. But don't start thinking you're one of us. The bloody snowdrifts aren't accepting new hunters. <laughs> bloody snowdrifts? That's what you want to call our Warwick? 
Yeah, it's not great to die. Well, it's, it's not like your names are any better. <laughs> you. We're headed northwest to the ruins near Hollow Hall. We'll be waiting. Oh. Hollow Hall, isn't that where we uh, trade in the animal stuff? And um, Bloody Snow Drifts, it's actually not bad. <laughs> That's not a bad name, in my opinion. Yeah, I thought there would be new dialogue because I'm wearing the, um, you know, the Werak thing. Chieftain. Uh, anyway, whatever, right. Okay, we gotta actually go up this way. Guys, I need one more um, animal figurine. Give me a second. Let's see if we can grab that. At the end of the day, if we are heading towards... Wait, hold on, hold on. It's actually there, guys. That's fantastic. Now, the question is, do I want to continue getting some of these blue gleams? This is now a scorcher site, okay. There's a pigment here. Damn it, guys. There's so many things in different directions. However, I am going to go here. I'll speed up the footage if um, nothing eventful happens. Hey, guys. Okay, I think there may be stalkers here. I don't mind having a fight, but I'd rather not. I want to concentrate on the quest. But at the same time, I just want to, <laughs> just want to get these. Yes. Yes, guys. Okay. I'm listening on my headphones. I did hear the um, Blue gleam. I'll be taking that. low frequency rumbling that or purring <laughs> that the stalkers give. Okay. Where's the other one? Can you hear it, guys? Damn. Where's the other one? Oh, it was just two. Okay, my bad, my bad. All right, I'll see you over here. I'll be back soon. Hey, guys. Okay, I just crossed this lake, and uh, it's here. So that's the other pigment. We still need to see that Sekuli uh, lady back in uh, Snow... Oh, I can't remember. Song's Edge. <laughs> I was going to say uh, Snow's Edge. Okay, here we go. So it's that one. I need two more, and I'm eager to get that. Now, give me a moment. Okay, this one looks, it's its a bit high, so that might obviously involve some climbing. Um, okay, again, guys, if there's nothing exciting happening, I'm just going to speed up the footage. Otherwise, I'll see you near here. But all we're doing essentially is just traveling up this way. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hey, guys. Okay, I don't know where the hell I am, <laughs> but um, I think I've kind of got a little bit lost. But the good news is, I think I'm near this blue gleam here, but this took forever to get to. In order to get here, I don't know how to explain this. All right, okay, I had to go up this way. And you see this here? So there's another blue, I didn't even know that. There's another blue gleam, it's a bit higher. But this is very, very high. It's actually on top of an actual mountain. So anyway, we're going to go here real quick because you can see there's, it, well, I hope it is, it's a zip line. All right, give me a moment. It might not even be up there. It could be down here somewhere. Hmm. All right, I'll keep looking, guys. All right, let's try here. Let's try this. Right, there you go, guys. <laughs> There's a blue gleam. Okay, can I actually get there from here? Yeah, I was wrong about that. That's not a zip line. It's just just a thing. Maybe a data point, perhaps. I'll have a look, but uh, we'll get this first. Where is it? It was just here. Oh crap! <laughs> One sec, guys. Hey guys, I'm blind. It was right next to me the whole time. Jesus. <laughs> All right, got it. Okay, um, just gonna have a quick look up here. And then I'll meet you near to the other blue gleam. Hmm. No, I don't think there's anything here. There's nothing on my map either. All right, I'll see you nearby here. Hey, guys. Okay, check it out. Very easy to get to, so it's just that one there. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Clean talks. Seriously, fuck those things. <laughs> I'm so fed up with glint hawks. All right, there's one more, and I'm just being greedy. Do I need to get it now, though? Okay, let's go and open up that... Um... Oh, they're gone. Where are they? 
All right, whatever, <laughs> whatever. They're gone. Okay, campfire discovered. Hmm, guys, let's just go. <laughs> I'll come back for that uh, blue gleam myself. Whoa! Oh, I know this. Okay, got. By the way, guys, I did kill these uh, fire bellabacks off recording, so I uh, just forgot to mention that. Uh, this is before the for the Warak um, quest that we did. Let me just get rid of that. Okay, where are we going exactly? All right, here we go. That's a bandit camp, isn't it? That was actually a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> that was good. All right, so... What, this way? And then what? This way? Okay, now what? Okay, I'm going off course. So we have to go here. Oh, shit. Okay, guys. Looks like we're very close now. There's another control to uh, tower, so... Hmm... Oh, this is awesome, guys. <laughs> we don't have anything like this in the UK, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, no, there it is. I've got to move my um, mount a bit further. So you stay here, my friend. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Going breaking. Every time's different. All right, so we've got... Oh, great scrappers. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be a ton of data points here as well, guys. All right, let me speak to those dudes first. There's the herd. Everyone ready? <laughs> Are you joking? We were born ready. Let's go get them, Flaming Skulls. Nope, that's awful. It is a pretty bad day. Good effort to work, guy. Forget it. Let's just go kill something. <laughs> no, I like Flaming Skulls. Guys, both those names that they gave were actually quite good. All right, so we got one... Oh, there you go. Uh, there's a Stalker. And another Scrapper there. All right, guys, I'm pretty certain there's going to be another Stalker lingering about. Can't just be one stalker, that's impossible. Now the question is, do I want to sneak around? Okay, that stalker's going up that way. Please, it has to be grass, it has to be. I'm going to go around the back. Okay, that stalker's coming back this way again. Guys, there's grass there. Let me go there, and I reckon I can get into this building. And then I can disable that thing, shocking everyone. And we're just going to spam freeze on the stalker. Etc, etc. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to... <laughs> Red light. Oh, God, that was so scary. Okay, guys. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please! <laughs> oh my god, please! Okay, this didn't work out the way I wanted it to, guys, but whatever. Okay, are they electrocuted? Right, who are you? Are you a stalker? Uh oh, guys, I, I can't tell from here. Come on, come on! Okay. Uh, oh shit, he survived that. Damn, guys. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> hey, guys. All right, let's give this another try. However, however, 
we are going to repeat that same strategy because it was actually working. Hey, what? Wait, wait, wait. Why? Okay, I thought he was um, attacking right. There's a stalker. Okay, what I'm going to do is, as soon as... Okay, let's go back. Okay. Shit. I wonder, can I just hide here? I know it sounds far-fetched. I know it sounds weird. However, let's just kill him. <laughs> oh my god, once I actually killed that watcher, for some reason... No, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Sorry, what I was about to say was, it triggers all the other enemies. Okay, now, let's go back. Oh, this time, this time. <laughs> We're going to switch to Shield Weaver. I can't believe I got one shot like that, guys. Okay, so. Wait, where's Stalker? Which one's the Stalker? Oh, there's two. There's two Stalkers, guys. Okay, good. That's one dead. Where are my buddies? Are, are they supposed to be helping me? Guys, I don't know where that stalker is. Okay. Right, he's over there, the stalker. Let's go game. Okay, you know what, guys? Let me try and get rid of its uh, thing. Camouflage. Where are you? Gotcha. Okay, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go, guys. Shit. I can't move, damn it. Something behind me. Uh, it's a whole rock. <laughs> You know what? Screw this. Let's freeze him. Oh my god, will he shoot, Aloy? <laughs> right, good. Good. At least the stalker's dead. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Alright, let's uh, collect that. Let me grab this. I don't know about you three, but I feel better. Aloy, did you get that component? Well, I mean, we disabled the control tower. I can loot afterwards, right? So... That's another part down. One more and you'll have what you need to pay off Burgrind. Starting to feel real, you know. I'm starting to believe we're really going to get out of here. Yeah, honestly, I wasn't sure we'd survive a week without Nakoni. But here we are. Who's Nakoni? Nakoni... Nakoni was... She, she was a friend of ours. She challenged the chieftain for control of our... of the Werak. She didn't make it. No. If you're going to tell this story, tell it true. She was murdered. Oh, no. Uh, let's ask that first. What happened? How did you lose Nakoni? She challenged the chief into a hunting competition. Oni could damn him. He wasn't nearly the hunter Nakoni was. But who comes back to the camp after the trial? Oni Koop, grinning like a snap maw, crowing, Oh, where's little Nakoni? We tracked Nakoni through the woods. Found her not far from the trailhead. Their damn neck snapped. Oh, that's I don't awful. Her like that. But sometimes that memory it's all I can think of. I'm sorry to die. It sounds like she meant a lot to you. To all of you. Damn, guys. Now I understand why they want to leave.
But yeah, okay, here's a fair question. Why not challenge the uh, chieftain? Nakoni challenged the chieftain. Why? Only Cup wrapped himself in power and authority the way some people wrap themselves in furs. If you were willing to fawn over him and sing false songs to him, you might get a spot on the best hunts. The wear act split into two. Those willing to lick the bottoms of Oniku's feet, and the rest of us, waiting for things to get better. Until Nakoni. She was the best and bravest of us. She was the one who took a stand. Damn. Is this why you left Benor? Because of this business with Nakoni and your chieftain? Onaku knew Nakoni was our mentor, our friend. We couldn't stay. That final night, we snuck back to camp, packed what we could, and left. Like cowards. What are we to tie? We are Banuk, aren't we? Survive and prevail. That's what we do. It's not what she did. Damn, that's sad. <laughs> it's always sad quest, guys. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what you've been through. It's nice to be heard. Thank you, Aloy. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? What happened in Bonoir is buried in Bonoir. What matters now is what happens in the Sundom. That's where the burning turkeys are going to make a name for us. <laughs> what? Right? Oh, the burning turkeys? Seriously? <laughs> rolls off the tongue. Sort of like vomit. So, where to next? There's a lake just west of here. Seems like a good place to find a snap mall thing. We'll meet you there. If you beat us there, just wait by the campfire. We'll be along. The burning turkeys, guys. <laughs> now, that is terrible. Uh, the other two, I think it was... Um, oh, I can't remember the first one. I don't remember the second one either. God damn it. <laughs> Whatever, but the previous two was good. But burning turkeys, come on, man. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, guys, um, there was a purpley here. And I think this is the figurine, I hope. Please, please, please. I guess the old yes. <laughs> yes, guys, we got it. All right, check it out. Depicts a stout antlered animal. Inscribe one of seven in a commemorative set. Uh, 2042 Montana Recreations. Excellent. So we've now got um, a deer, a puma or a cougar. I'm pretty sure this is a bison. I'm pretty sure. That's a bear. What is this? So what is our female deer? I don't know, guys. Forgive me. I apologize, but I don't know what the difference between these two are. So, sorry. <laughs> All right, and this is a wolf, obviously. Okay, so let me check this place out. There might even be quite possibly a, a data point. It has to be. I look in the surrounding area as well. Like there are some buildings here. It's not just this. Oh, actually, check it out, guys. There's this. No, it's just, it's just a um supply crate. And look at this. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, um, guys, give me a few moments. Let me have a look around. If I find anything. I'll let you know, but I'm going to try these buses. There, there was another building I did see. There's these cars. I'll be back with you shortly. Hey, guys. Check it out. I was right. There was something here. I looked around everywhere else. I still couldn't find anything except for this one. So there's this, and it's inside a bus. Yellowstone sucks. Oh, man. Come on. Don't say that. Right, Servitor says I'll get docked if I don't do the personal personnel or personal response assignment. Okay, fine. Here you go, Robo Nag. This trip sucks. Yellowstone sucks. High school sucks. It's it's obviously a kid. Drop my sandwich in some weird rainbow water. And it got dissolved. Kinda wicked, I guess. But now I'm hungry. Why are they, why are, oh sorry, jeez, I can't read. Why are they always saying to admire the view? Who cares about a view? Don't make me look at things I don't want to look at. Bears, raccoons, rabbits, so many furry, who cares, sits, okay? Holocaust here sucks. Couldn't DL or download latest 
goblination patch till we got back to uh, got back on Autobus and Miss Shattered Chasm Challenge. My hordes were so pissed, right? Obviously, again, guys, I've got something to say about this. This kid, <laughs> he, he's not realizing that in a couple of decades' time, all of this is going to be gone everything the rabbits the who cares what it as he refers to them is all going to be gone molecular life is going to be gone human beings are going to be gone animals insects water even oxygen from what i'm understanding the machines will devour everything and this prick bastard kid <laughs> is not appreciating what he has right now or she i don't know whatever but everything is gone even celebrities the kardashians are gone as well guys can you imagine that <laughs> but that's insane all of this is uh, no life it's just a barren rock until gaia obviously you know sorted everything out i'm gonna have a look at one more time guys this is where i kept looking around yeah no there's nothing else here okay cool however one thing guys there is a building here if you just it's got a merchant's um, thing on there. No, nothing there. Right, give me a sec. Where is it again? Well, we may as well go after this pigment, but it's actually that merchant thing that I want to go to. Guys, I hope you don't mind me trying to look for collectibles and stuff, but um, I really enjoy it. It's, it's a lot of fun for me. But I do try to shorten the video. Oh, there it is. It's there. Okay. All right, here we go. Let me grab that. Wait, is this it? It is. It is. Dark Soul. Just one more, guys. Don't worry. I'm not going to go for it right now. It's only because it was nearby. Where is the last one? Give me a moment. Right, last one's on top of a very high mountain, but there's a glue, uh, blue, a blue gleam. <laughs> I was going to call it a glue gleam, but anyway, whatever. Let me go and see whatever this is. There's also a data point, and it's on the way. It's on the way, guys. All right. And I'm going to skip ahead. Let me just have a look around in case there's a data point. Hey, guys. I couldn't find anything, so it's fine. So let's make a move. We're nearly there. It's not far. But I have a suspicion. Do you remember the... Um, oh, I can't remember their names. But you know the three uh, Banuk that we've met? One of them said, meet us in hollow whatever. And I'm pretty certain... Campfire discovered. Where? Is this it? Oh, we're here, guys. Sorry, we're here. Ground the air. Me. A data point, guys. Versus Americanus, the magnificent American black bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Guys, we're here. We found it. <laughs> we're here, man. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so happy, man. Shall I come back here after... Guys, I tell you what. Let me... Right, it's here. Okay. We need to go here. There's some data points. I'm really excited. We'll be back. We're going to do this at the end of the video. Let's continue on with the quest. At least we found this place. I'm really excited. And just one quick look. Does this bus have anything? No. Okay, guys. Let's make a move. All right. So we need to turn back. I'm so happy, guys. That's great. You know, all that time searching for... Um... Wait, is it this way? Am I going the right way? I am. I am. We're nearly there, guys. 132. There should be another control tower by the looks of it. Right. All right, I better hold my mount back, actually, because... Okay. I'm going to go on foot because he may get uh, electrocuted, so. And there's a thing here as well. 
All right, don't worry. Oh, I know what this what guys. I know what this place is. Wait, what was that noise? Well, what are we waiting for? Uh, guys, what? Weapons at the ready. Hey. To the hunt, sunshine. No, what are you doing? I'm not ready, guys. Oh my God. Anyway, just a quick one. My God, <laughs> I know what this place is. We climbed up here. I don't remember what part. I'll put it in the top right hand corner if I can find it. Do you remember there was a control tower? There's three. I didn't engage in the enemies. I didn't fight anybody. All I did was disable all control towers. So our job is actually a lot easier. Right. Just it later. Right. Ah, uh, what's he do? What is that Samuel doing, guys? Guys, he's lifted a whole sheet of ice. Oh no! Oh no! Something's that Oh shit! God damn it! Ah, uh, Aloy, can you move? My God! Oh, I hate this crap. <laughs> Guys, I just figured something out. I don't think... Um... Wait, hold on. Oh, guys, I'll shut up. I'll talk afterwards. But the proximity bombs, I think the machines know they're there. So they kind of avoid them. It does work sometimes, but not, not always. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm just getting ganked. Okay. Okay, you know what? This is bullshit. I'm getting stuck on trees. I've got two long legs and a snap more. And I keep falling. I don't know why. I just want some space, please. Good for you, piece of shit. Right, here we go. Damn, his weak point's already taken off. God damn it. And his weak point's taken off as well. God damn it. Lord of mercy. <laughs> Please. Okay. All right, good. That's one down. You bitch. Okay, good. All right, there's another long leg. What happened to that one? What the hell just happened there? All right, anyway, whatever. Right, we've got... What the hell is this? A snap ball! Crap! Oh, whoa! Okay. Oh, he's stuck on there. That's why. Okay, guys. No, don't move! Oh, crap. Yes! <laughs> okay, let's do another triple shot. Let's get rid of him, guys. All right. Come on, third one. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, God. That was so close. Oh, my God. <laughs> Actually shot him out of the air. All right, what have we got? Okay, looks like two more enemies. We got another. Please don't be another long leg. No, that's a freaking control tower. One second. Are you guys okay? I think there's more machines, guys, but I can't see them. All right, give me a moment. Let me do some looting. I'll be back soon. Good home. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay, um, let's keep going up this way. There must be more enemies here. I, I don't know where the hell they are. Let me just get rid of that flag. It's really annoying. One second. Where the hell are they? Guys, I'm confused AF. I don't know what's happened. What's that noise? <laughs> Guys, I don't know what is going on here. Kill the machine. Wait, wait, what's this? Oh, I'll take that. I don't want these two. I'll take these. <laughs> Guys, I'm confused. I don't know what's happened here. Has the game bugged? Is it glitched? <laughs> Guys, I tell you what, let me find something. I may have to reload the save because this sucks. It says kill the machines. 
I'll be back with you soon, guys. Hey, guys. Okay. <laughs> I was literally not even kidding. I was literally about to restart. Um, reload the save. I hate doing that, but check it out. Uh, Aloy, get out of the water, my God. Sorry, guys. It, it just pisses me off when the game does that. Try to jump to another platform, but she dives right into the water. Okay. All right. Let me try and grab his... Damn, too late. Oh, we got him. Okay, good. Good. Right, triple shot. Get out of the way, dude. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, God. He's so menacing. Whoa. Okay, that didn't work this time. Right, good. He's down. He's down. Where's the other one? Okay. All right, what's he doing? What's he doing? Damn! Damn it! Get out of the water! Oh, I guess my nerves, man. I hate the water mechanics in this game. Gotcha! Okay. All right, is that it now? Well, are we done here? <laughs> Guys, wow. That was a bit of a pain in the ass. You really did it. There's a salmon. No more <laughs> or a salmon. No more cut. We're already gone. Pull out a snap maw tooth and let's get going already. Gladly. I just want this to be done with now. Not that I'm not enjoying the quest, but this last part was bullshit. I just couldn't find any enemies. I was literally, not even kidding, guys, literally about to, um, you know, reload the save. But then I heard snap wars in the background. Goodbye, huh? What is this? Goodbye forever. There. That's the last of Bergen's parts. Looks like you three are out of debt. For now. Until Orkai breaks something else. It was one time! You make a nice shaman, Aloy. Thanks for lending a hand. Maybe we'll meet you in the Sundom sometime. Guys, I hope they are going to be in the Sundom. It'll be quite great to meet up Once with them again. The Sundom, what then? What's the next step? We hunt like Nakoni wanted to hunt. Nakoni had big dreams. A wear act in which everyone pulls their weight and takes care of each other. No shamans, no chieftains. No need to pry the power out of anybody's hands. Sounds like a lot of work. Mm, but worth it, I think. In a fitting tribute to Nukoni, we can become the Werak she always wished for. Aw. You won't have me to strip your kills now. Are you three gonna be all right? Eh, doesn't look that hard, really. We'll be fine. <sighs> Great. He washes three successful harvests and he's suddenly a shaman. When you get to Song's Edge, talk to Burgrind. If he can't teach you himself, I'll know someone who can. Sure. And I bet he charges us for the introduction. Uh, thank you, Aloy. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I guess this is goodbye. How does it feel, putting Banuk lands behind you? The only thing I would have missed is already gone. Let all those rotten Bonor suckos freeze to death. That's a little much, Urkai, don't you think? It's strange. What is it to be Banuk after Banur forsakes you? How do we decide who we are? How about you, Aloy? Who do you think we are? What will you remember of us? Guys, I really like these um these characters. In the beginning, I was a little bit, you know, weird about it because uh, that the girl, she was a bit rude to Aloy. <laughs> but I really like them. Okay, what you've endured... What do you've accomplished? No, 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 no. What do you fight for? You do more than just survive. You believe in something, and you're willing to fight for it. Nukoni was willing to die for it. I like that. Nukoni dreamt of a Werak without shamans or chieftains, and we might be that dream. Nukoni's arrows. That's what we are. Shot awesome. Her bow in the north to hit her target in the south. I know I'm not part of the Werak, but that's the best suggestion I've heard since I met you three. Yes. Nukoni's arrows. We will try to fly true. 
Thank you, Huntress. Guys, I still think burning turkeys was the best one. <laughs> Imagine a tribe called burning turkeys. Oh, man, they're really gone. Well, they're still here. You know what I mean, guys. But, but then again, we may be able to see them in the Sundom. That would be amazing. Um, right, we need to go and see Montana Recreation. So we're going to go there now. Where are they? Where is he again? And give me a sec. Guys, maybe we can grab this. I'll meet you up there. Let's grab this blue gleam. Hey, guys. Okay, this is... It's here. It's here. I was going to say, this is very dangerous, but it's right here. Gotcha. But is this the one? It is. It is. The flag was just very far. Okay, guys, I'll now meet you in Matana Recreations. Hey, guys, we're back. Okay. Versus Americanus, the magnificent American black bear. You by Montana Recreations. <laughs> All right, I'm going to talk to that dude there, but give me a sec. Did you? If he hadn't preserved you, would anyone even? Right, visitor center. Visitor centers a bust. Oh God. Reporting the strategic and operational value at roughly O point squat. No reason we shouldn't pack the staff onto a bird and send them back to Nowheresville as soon as the gates are locked. Enjoy basic income, ding dongs. Ding dongs. <laughs> what a dick. I hate Blevins. He's such a knob jockey. All right, guys. Um, we're gonna read that. And I also need to read out something to you guys as well. I found a not this, not this. I found a data point. Uh, I can't remember what episode. Which one is it? Hang on, wait, wait. Have I gone too far for this? No, this isn't it. What? Guys, I'm so sorry. Just give me a minute. Right, I've done that. Sick park status. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. Guys, I don't know where the hell it is. Oh, it's an audio. I'm such a dick. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My fault. My fault. Okay, not that. Final performance. Visitor Center. Right, let's listen to that again. Visitor Center's a bust. I'm recording the strategic and operational value at roughly O point squat. No reason we shouldn't pack the staff onto a vert to send them back to Nowheresville as soon as the gates are locked. Enjoy basic income, ding dongs. Wow, this guy's such an arsehole. Okay, personal log. Could get some demolition bots in here and level the structure. Might be something of value in the walls, copper wire or something. But that's about all we're going to get out of this dump. Hell, or just let it rot out here for all I care. My God. Oh, uh, one more thing. That Jeff Ford's lady, Marnie Jeffords, operations manager? While we have access to the National Park Department employee registry, let's put a no rehire flag on her account. Teach her not to get lippy with her superiors. Uh, guys, uh, look, I know I laugh a lot and stuff, but this... Wait, there's another date point there. Anyway, I'll explain afterwards, guys. Our final two weeks... Oh, I know where this is going. Oh, it's actually from Marnie Jeffords. Right, I need to read this. Okay. To all staff, Marnie Jeffords, subject addressing the rumours. Some of you have overheard portions of the, let's call them, spirited conversations I've been having with the charming <laughs> Mr. Blevins in my office over the past week. So let's address the honking big elephant we're crammed into this room with. The park has been acquired by something called Firebreak. Right, there you go, guys. There you go. And they're restricting access to authorized personnel. I wish I had more details to share, but those are literally the only ones I've been given. Upshot, this isn't a national park anymore. No visitors means no visitor center. Oh, that's sad. We've got two weeks. And that Blevins guy's making fun of it. Oh, I want to kill him again, guys. I know he's dead. Long dead, but I want to kill him again. I know this is not easy. If you're like me, this place represents something bigger 
are more important than a paycheck. Believe me, I am right there with you. When I say that this park is the most beautiful place in America, it's not PR and it's not hype. It breaks my heart to think that nobody will be around to applaud Old Faithful or stay into the, stare into the beauty pool. But this is where we find ourselves. I realise there's a temptation to check out and give up. But I really, really need your help over the next two weeks. Tours will continue through Friday, so I'm going to need guides. And even though regular ops at the gift shop are suspended, we've got a ton of surplus merch to box up and ship back to manufacturers, including about a bazillion unsold Monrec hollow figurines. Is that what these are? Anyway, uh, yes, Monrec wants everything but the display figs back. No, I can't imagine why either. Please, you guys, just give me two more weeks of your time. I can't shut this place down alone. Oh, guys, I'm tearing up. That's so fucking sad. Should I tell you why I'm sad? Because this happened to you know, somebody in my family. Anyway, I won't go on about it. Best Marnie. Being laid off is fucking sad, guys. It's a horrible... Anyway, let's not get into that. Let's let's talk about gaming. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I had to tear up a little bit there, guys. Okay, what is this? Is there more data points, by the way? Just before I talk to that dude. Can I loot this? Of course I can. <laughs> All right, give me a second. There's only... A... Oh, no, there's a bear. I can see a bear there. All right, whatever. Anyway, let's uh, talk to this guy. Who are you? Enjuk. I hate to interrupt. Oh, I... Yes. <laughs> Hello, I... Well, an outlander at the Shrine of Forgotten Beasts. Welcome. I'm Enjuk. Uh, Aloy. The Shrine of... what? When the old world still breathed, a great man built a tiny totem to this beast and stored the visage inside. When the totem is placed on the pedestal, the animal is painted onto the empty air, and the beast lives again. Well, almost. There are seven pedestals. Where are the other six figurines? I found this one in the wilds, remembered the indentations in the pedestals here, and saw how they matched the base of the totem. But as you say, it's one of seven, isn't it? Oh, the great Montana recreations must have made more, but... Time has scattered them. I've got them. <laughs> right, let's do Montana first. You said a great man made these figurines? Indeed. He was, I believe, a student of the natural world. Like me. But surpassing my abilities a thousand times over. The great Montana recreations. Perhaps the finest natural scholar the old world ever produced. His voice claims responsibility for the totems, the vessels for the knowledge he accumulated. I share his desire to understand the beasts, to catalog their behaviors and preserve their images. I like to flatter myself that I'm an apprentice of sorts, carrying on his work. Someday, perhaps, if I am persistent, I can earn his name, Enjuk Recreations. Guys, <laughs> I'm listening to all of that with a big smile on my face. And that's really cheered me up from before. But basically, Montana Recreations is a company. Obviously, yes, they, you know, um, they show off animals, etc. But it is a company. But this person thinks Montana is a person. Montana Recreations is a person. And um, he's looking up to that person. And he wants to be the next and jerk recreations i think it's just it's very endearing it's amazing all right the figurines so these totems the images they show are of animals that no longer exist they're gone like the old ones so it seems <sighs> to think such magnificent creatures are lost to us that we never even knew they were here we rely as much on beasts as we do on machines for food for warmth, but do we study them with the same fervor? Yeah, I do. For example, I have this theory about foxes. Why do foxes have red fur? 
think about what they eat. Meat? Raw meat. Bloody meat. <laughs> Natural causation. Logical connections. It only makes sense. You've thought a lot more about foxes than I have. <laughs> um, well, look, I mean, if I didn't know what a fox was, it existed in prehistory. I don't know. I maybe. Anyway, look, you, you know where I'm going with this, guys. Let's trade figurines. And I'll give you my thoughts afterwards. I have six figurines like this one. Maybe these are what you're looking for? Uh, and just a quick note, um, guys. I love watching dinosaur documentaries. Um, you know, ma mammals that came after the extinction of dinosaurs. Um, you know, in the millions of years, you know, after the meteor strike, uh, the meteor hit Earth, etc. It took a while for life to climb its way back up. And small mammals, um, you know, evolved and got bigger and bigger. Now they were the dominant species, etc. But um, it's just fascinating to me that as advanced as we are, we're still trying to figure out what, you know, skin textures dinosaurs had. What color, okay, saber tooth tigers, what color were their fur? Do you see what I mean? It, it's, it's just crazy to me. And, and, um, playing this game and you meet somebody here who's postul postulating what could these animals that we are very familiar with what they could have looked like so red a red fox because he, he eats red meat anyway what will i get from this please be good don't be shit <laughs> don't want any shit rewards this took a long time to gather can i actually have all of these i can <laughs> that's excellent okay uh i'll sell later tim right i didn't know if i'd ever see the whole collection reunited <sighs> and look at them they're beautiful oh they're guys great thing aloy these may represent the last record that any of these beasts ever lived take this it's the least i can do and come back anytime i and our animal friends await your return uh, it's trade? Yeah, sorry, give me a sec. No, no, I've done it. It's all done. That's all for now. Until next time, then. All right, let's have a look. Um, wow. This is great, guys. So, how, oh, oh, wait, we can interact with these. Give me a moment, please. I'm so sorry. Let me first see what I actually got. What did I get from all this? Okay. Oh, blue gleam. Are we, uh, well, do, I don't even need badger bone anymore. I'm happy to get... Okay, we've got squirrel bone. I've never had that before. <gasps> what is that? Okay, I'll check in a minute. <laughs> Sorry, give me a sec. Ancient sculpture, I'll sell that. Owl bone. Okay, I'll sell that. Oh, come on, guys. Really? A green weapon coin. Oh, my God. Anyway, whatever. I'll sell it back to him. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, whatever, guys. Okay. I'll check out the um, weapon coil in a minute. The purple one. What's this? Ursus Americanus, the magnificent American black bear, brought to you by Montana Recreations. How would you like to find yourself cornered by that thing? I suspect I'd like it very much indeed. What a beautiful beast you were. <laughs> this is great. Guys, this is so endearing, man. It's, it's so cute. <laughs> Puma Concalo. The Fearsome Cougar. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. This coat is sand color. Could it have been a burrowing animal? Perhaps those teeth were only used for digging. Dude. <laughs> but but guys, that's my point. What I was trying to say earlier. Look, I, okay, I'm I'm pretty sure we've got a lot of things right about dinosaurs and you know early mammals. I'm pretty sure though that on the other side of the coin there's a lot of stuff we've got wrong i mean look who would have thunk i think it was the early 90s we discovered the first feathered dinosaurs or velociraptor was actually feathered this is a year before the movie uh, jurassic park 1993 um was released and it, it sounded far-fetched were they really feathered have they got high metabolisms like birds are they actually birds and the general consensus, they are birds. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. 
Bison, bison, bison. That's the actual Latin name of the regal American bison. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Latin? Perhaps that's some sort of old world custom in which one repeats the name of a particularly revered animal. <laughs> this is this is awesome. All right. Okay, that's a bear. Another one. Ursus Artos, the menacing grizzly bear, brought to you by Montana Recreations. Those claws look like they could rip someone in half. Perhaps in its youth, but you heard Montana Recreations. He said it's grizzled, old. Its hunting days are behind it. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> uh, guys, I've got a confession to make. Now that I've seen the hologram of this grizzly bear, and you know the way it stood up, I just figured out what a frost claw is. It's a bear. Guys, I didn't vocalize it because I didn't think I needed to. I thought everybody thought. I thought it was a gorilla. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel stupid now. And the reason I feel stupid is because I've seen the way it stood up. It's the exact same posture as the frost claw, but also the claws. And I really thought it was a gorilla this whole entire time. Anyway. Whoopsie. <laughs> Otoclius virginianus, the majestic mule deer. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Not built like a predator, but perhaps it needed those horns to take down its prey in the absence of sharp fangs. <laughs> this is so amazing. All right, what's this? Canis Lupus, the enigmatic gray wolf. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Could it be that these wolves, now are foxes, are the same somehow? Perhaps after hundreds of winters. No. No, that's ridiculous. He's talking about evolution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he was onto something. He was onto something. Alsus, Alsus, the noble moose. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. The horns grow like trees. Of course, this moose used those bizarre growths to blend in with its forest home. Huh. <laughs> this is great, guys. This is awesome, man. All right, I've already tried to leave that. Okay, let's have a look very quickly before I let you all go. What is this? Oh! <gasps> Wait, let me get rid of this. Let me sell these to him. Sorry. Um, 51% damage. That is sick. 35% shock. 35% freeze. Now, it's giving high damage. Am I right in assuming I can put this in? Guys, I know what I could get. I can... Not now. I'll do it off recording. I'm going to get the um, the warrior bow. Is that what you even call it? Give me a sec. Oh, war bow. Sorry. The war bow, but the Banuk version. And I'm going to put um, this coil in here. That'll be sick. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Listen, you know all this Montana recreation stuff and me, um, you know, doing the uh, collectibles, etc. I'm going to put a note saying it is actually a bonus material. If you just want to see the quest itself, it's there. But this has been fascinating. It was quite heartwarming as well. You know, our interpretations of past animals. <laughs> and we could think we're correct, but uh, we may not be. But um, anyway, also, apologies. I did get a little bit sad when I heard this thing because I've seen what layoffs can do to somebody. I won't say any more than that, but let's just say it was uh, fatal. Um uh, and the clue I can give you is uh, there were children who were left behind because the person was just so sad they got let go. They couldn't cope. And that's all I'm going to say about it. That's all I'm going to say about it. And I miss him. But anyway, guys, take care. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I'll uh, see you in the next um, video. I think we'll do another one more Frozen Wilds quest. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.